This is Sky News with Anna Botting. Hello, good evening. We start with a Sky News special investigation. Tonight we can exclusively reveal that nearly 1,000 pupils have been caught by police with weapons inside Britain's schools over the last three years. The dangerous items being carried inside classrooms include guns, knives and a meat cleaver. And this evening it's emerged that at least 80 of the children involved were still at primary school. Sky Social Affairs and Education Editor Afua Hirsch has this exclusive report. Guns. A meat cleaver, a cutthroat razor. These are just some of the weapons children have been bringing into UK schools. Our investigation has uncovered a hidden culture where for some pupils, carrying these potentially lethal objects is the norm. For these young people, this comes as no surprise. They have all been punished for their offences, but even now can't see how it could have been different. Yeah, it's just my generation. It's a bit wild, isn't it? So it's like a normal thing to carry a weapon because you know everyone else is carrying weapons. So it makes it fair, basically. People die, people get stabbed. It's like, you've got to protect yourself. No one protects you. You've got to have your own. This is not just about teenagers going off the rails in our cities. It affects young children too, and it's happening across the country. Through Freedom of Information Act requests to UK police forces, we can reveal that 981 pupils have been found with weapons in schools over the last three years, including 80 primary school children. The youngest was an eight-year-old with a knife in Scotland. 329 children have been charged with weapons offences in schools since 2011. I found that really shocking. And now I'm looking at the bottom of that list, one lock knife, that was what Luke was murdered with, a really? lock knife, yeah. It's 10 years since Paul and Jane Walmsley's son, Luke, was stabbed to death in between lessons by a fellow pupil. You live with it, but your life is destroyed because you've lost one of the biggest parts of your life. And we just hope to go forward. And you think all the things we've, well, what would you say? All the reports we've done, we've been into schools, and really, you begin to wonder if it's doing any good. It is one step forward, two steps back. Six years ago, the government announced airport-style metal detectors would be installed in hundreds of schools. That never happened, and now it's up to individual schools to tackle the problem. Despite speaking to dozens of schools, we were met with a wall of silence by heads fiercely protecting their school's reputation, quick to deny they have a problem with weapons. Although the issue may have gone off the radar, it has not gone away. It's happening weekly in our society, um, but it's becoming such a common topic to the point where people don't need to, it's not a surprise anymore, it's not a shock. Whereas if we go back 10, 15 years ago, someone getting stabbed was main news. Um, now, if someone gets stabbed, it's like, okay, oh, oh another guy got stabbed again, nothing new. The government has given teachers new powers to search pupils without consent if they suspect them of carrying a weapon. But with so many still slipping through the net, schools that are meant to be places of safety are in some cases anything but. Afwahash, Sky News. He was described as the chosen one, but...